What's up, guys? Ronan here. So, as you know, this channel is mainly for reviewing bikes, bike accessories, anything in and around bikes that I can get my hands on. Yeah, well, in my neck of the woods, it's currently winter time. So there's not a lot of bike riding being done. However, let's say you wanted to do some traveling. You want to take your bike with you. Two questions. Do you have adequate transportation to take your bike with you? And if so, what does it look like? Is it, do you have to get a roof rack? Do you have to get a truck rack? Is it vehicle big enough to fit the bike in the trunk? Do you have to take the front wheels off? A lot of people want to take their bikes with them, but they don't always have the adequate space to take it. I mean, it is what it is. So, what I want to do is I want to start a, a playlist. And this playlist is based on the other side of, of bike riding. Transporting your bike. And it's just the idea I've been playing around with. I haven't gotten all together yet, but it's it's gonna be dealing with vehicles. Now, bike mechanics and car mechanics are similar. I'm not I'm not proficient in either one, but I I know the basics. I, I know the basics. So. What I want to do is, I want to go over basic, basic maintenance. That's, that's how I would put it. I want to go over basic maintenance. I stayed away from that type of stuff for, for a while. Um, my grandfather was a mechanic and he in turn knew a lot of other mechanics and that's the type of stuff I was surrounded by growing up but when I got older you know those teenage years young adult I just didn't want to be bothered with it until my car broke down and I had to ask for help so yeah that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to anyway fast forward to today I like bike riding. I like riding through the streets. I've never been mountain bike riding, although I would like to do that. Two things. Uh, I don't think I have my bike is going to make it on a mountain. Second of all, I don't think I have the right type of vehicle to travel over 200 miles to get to a mountain. But I would like to travel to different places spots around the country and rap my bike but in order to do that and this is the important part in order to do that i need to have a good running vehicle even if it's just to get me to the airport and package my bike up and put it on a plane but knowing me i'm going to want the full experience so i'm going to want to drive to wherever my destination is. And that's the reason why I want to do this other segment, you know, because it involves maintenance on your vehicle, which if your vehicle's running good, you can travel anywhere just about and go bike ride. So look for these uh, bike accessory related car maintenance 
<laughs> some people some people might say, what in the world does a car have to do with a bike? Well, first of all, good question. Second of all, they both have wheels. Third of all, they both use rubber tires. So, yeah, mm, they both have brakes. And the newer bikes have brake fluid. So, yeah, I'm thinking there's a lot of parallels between a bike and a car. Not to mention, bikes can also be used as commuter transportation. So, yeah, bike is an alternative to having a car. But I'm what I'm saying is a car is just as important as a bike, especially when you travel around the country. As I said, traveling around the country, riding your bike, going bike riding up in the mountains, going to bike parks. The, these are things that I personally find important. You know, I've seen videos, people going up into the mountains and they want to build a, a RV because they're downsizing on their apartment or they're selling their house and they're living out of their RV. General maintenance, if you're going to do stuff like that, general maintenance on your vehicle is important. And I haven't seen any, watched any videos as of late, but I, the ones I did watch, I don't remember seeing anybody cover that. You know, oh, the inside. We did this. We took the seats out and we put a plank in. We got a bed going in next week. And yeah, those are all important things. If you're going to live out of your RV or your van. But what about the general maintenance? And that's where I come in. Other bike riders, they cover the inside of the vehicle. I'm covering the maintenance on the vehicle. Until then, I'll talk to you later.